Hello ladies and gentlemen and otherwise, what's up? My name is Devious and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Last episode, we attended a funeral service and kind of... We're starting to gear up for a raid on this place so Ishtola can find a Rosetta Stone type of thing and essentially translate a document slash tablet that is going to get us into the place where we can go to kill the Light Warden. Let's get back to work! Alright, what you got, Stola? The encampment we seek is to the north, but it will be foolish to simply rush in. I mean, yeah, but... You have two gunbreakers, and I know you're a force of nature. A guard has been posted at Cleric to keep watch over the children. Perhaps he has ought to share their recent activity. Okay, fair enough. We must tread carefully. There's a chance we may encounter them along the way. <gasps> Murder. Stay close and stay alert. I would avoid confrontation if possible. Aw, but MOM! They rejoice in dealing death to others, claiming that in doing so they cleanse their victims of sin and usher them into the sunless sea. I would rather not sully my hands defending myself against such madmen. <laughs> ah, love Ishtola! Got that superiority straight down. Loving it. But, um... I also kind of want to just kill somebody. So... Eh, either way, I'm happy. Either Stola is happy and I'm happy, or I get to kill things and I'm happy. That is not a flamingo. Hello, my friends! Really? Just explode. Thank you. Oi! Off your ass, boy! I'm doing your job for you. Punk ass. By the blessed dark. Thank goodness you are unharmed. You're welcome. We've arrived sooner, but we ha we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You're an acquaintance of Master Matoya, then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought to take a closer look. I was careless. Strange? What have you seen? At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary. The usual gathering of ingredients for poisons from flora and fauna. Then I took notice of their venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in much greater numbers. As if they're preparing for something. Oh, great! Any idea as to what? Could be anything, really. If it meant the end of the bless, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. Oh, great. Even fucking better! But perhaps we can use their present preoccupation with spiders to our advantage. If we were to introduce a threat to the nest where they keep them, the children would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a natural predator of spiders. Okay, my biology is a little rough, but I don't think that is just common knowledge. I, I, I um, set them loose on the nest, and we would have our opportunity to sneak into their encampment. What a mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure their hives. Have you anything we might be able to use? Uh, we should have smoke bombs in the outpost just over there. Hell yeah! Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search for about for beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit, but once they're knocked out, take the beehives and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. Alright, let's get to work. Man, here I thought we were going to do a full frontal assault, but no, we're going to be sneaky. Uh, sneaking is for peasantry. They really like their blue flame candles, don't they? I was trying to figure out what that was and I realized, oh hey, I have that mount. Okay, just throwing this out there, this is not how bees are supposed to work. Smoke calms bees, it makes them stop attacking. 
We have a beehive. Deep concern. Buzzing burlaps. <laughs> For God's sake, don't let them out. <laughs> All right, we have the prerequisite amount of bees. Let's go cause some absolute freaking havoc. It just occurred to me, by the way, that these are normal spiders, not like giant writing spiders that I thought they were. I thought these were gonna be like, oh yes, I'm going to mount my giant spider and ride it up this tree. No, not normal spiders. I didn't know there were normal spiders. The guard returned to Slitherbell, but not before offering his thanks. As for the beehives, thanking our knife, we were successful in requiring what we need. How did you fare? Oh, yeah! We're rolling, bruv. This is more than enough. Children are certain to be displeased. <laughs> Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, let's go cause some fucking havoc! Stola is ready to move. Oh, I looked at this as like, wait, why are you telling me to go back to the Rising Stones? That's another thing that I haven't... That, that's gonna be an on-stream thing. I forgot I had that. <laughs> the children's settlement is to the west, a place they call the Woven Oath. According to the guard, there is an airway apart from the entrance which leads to the spider's nest. If the fates are kind, the way will be clear. <laughs> the fates have not been terribly kind lately. I just... I don't want to ruin your day, Stola, but the fates have not been kind lately. <laughs> In fact, they've been quite petty. I have a riveted. What's good? Can we chaos now? Yes. Yes. Up there is the airway. Do you see it? Kind of hard to miss. Yep. bit far, perhaps, but we should be able to toss the bag through. Though, we should probably loosen the ropes keeping it closed, enough that it falls open when it lands inside. Yeah, do the honors. By all means, homie! Go ahead, give it a yeet. That should do it. Now we wait. What is that? Bees! By the abyss, they're everywhere! <laughs> this is like a fucking Looney Tunes movie, dude. Help! Someone help! We have to save the spiders! Sounds like our plan is working. Still, it is quite likely that not all will were drawn away from their post. If it should come to blows with the children, I'll see to it any signs of a struggle are concealed. Failing that, I'll create a distraction to buy Ishtola more time. Can I help? Can I do chaos? Should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of my loafing around bored in the shadows? <laughs> Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. <laughs> now, if you both are ready... <laughs> Bruh, Ishtola is just merciless! <laughs> I know, by the way. I am totally simping for Ishtola. I'm not sorry. Where the fuck am I going? I'm assuming... Okay, hold on. Because there's like... Okay, that's gonna be a way through that I can't reach yet, so I gotta go around. Fair enough. Hello, boys! Literally one of you noticed. Literally one out of the four of you noticed that I was riding through on a fucking motorcycle. You guys suck at this. You deserve to be raided. Whoop. Yo, he angry. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, it's through here. I see, I see. You're gonna stop chasing me. Alright! 
This man has chosen death. Alright, distraction dealt with. What's the plan? Uh, the font of seeing suggests this is a chamber for prayer. At the very least, they should not place this potential... place this near potential distractions from their worship. Perhaps the monument is further in. Away we go! <laughs> Me and Alpha going to cause trouble just like old times, bruh. Oh, here we go! Interesting. Alright, what are we looking at? Yes, this is it. Cool. I'll be about a moment. Keep watch at the entryway. Second thought, would you mind examining the murals on these walls while I look this over? I really should be standing guard. At a glance, I could tell they are old, predating the founding of the Blessed and the Children, in fact. We're not likely to come here a second time. It would behoove us to learn all we can. Ishtola. Don't let recon come in the way... Don't let recon get in the way of survival, I'm just saying. Definitely very interesting, though, but combat comes first, man. Ah. Examine the murals and take note of what events they depict. And move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target a mural and examine it with a click. Very well. appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stands triumphant over what appears to be creatures of shadow. Other figures surround the creature rejoicing in their victory. That hum. Reserving conspiracy theories. Mural the appears to be very old. The ruler sits atop a throne attended by their subjects. Okay. Got much of the ruler there. Anything else, really? It only appears to be fairly old. A knight shields himself and his comrades from an encroaching darkness. A central figure is considerably faded. That's. shit. That's, uh, Ardbert and his party. Isn't it? Yeah, because I remember the uh, the black mage, the archer. Archer looks a little different, but central person looks kind of warrior-ish. That's definitely an axe type of stance. Big mofo paladin with the shield. Remember the row, and then small little Lalafell hanging out. That's Ardbert's party. So wait a minute. Hold on. Is this a depiction of what happened when he came to the source? No, wait, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, brain no work good. These paintings, they seem familiar. Depictions of heroes throughout history. The Age of Gods, the Empire of Ronka, and this... That's you and yours. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had a good heart. He believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. So wait, that's not his party then. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka. He was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned, commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself. 
I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way, after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. You don't. But it seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. But did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of monument? Never thought of where's Stola? I know we're having a moment here, but where did Estola go? There you are. I have everything I need. Let's okay, quit good. this place. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Now I have many more questions. Why can't Estola see any trace of Ardbert? Also, what was that thing falling from the ceiling? It was like a gold feather looking dealy. What was that? Is that like just something with the... Okay, I guess I won't be able to look for it now. What you got? I believe I now have everything needed to finish deciphering the tablet. Tell me, Luna, did the murals appear of any significance? Depictions of heroes from the ages of, the age of gods, the Ronkin Empire, and immediately before the Flood. Very astute observations. Perhaps in another lifetime you could be a curator of antiquities. <laughs> Though it has no bearing on the task at hand, perhaps that knowledge may prove to be of use in the future. Uh, here's hoping. Um, my inventory is slowly filling up once again. Deep concern! Let's keep it going. We've got plenty of time. Let's keep it rolling. She was thirst for knowledge, sated. She seems content to return to Slitherbow. Fair enough. Let's hurry to Slitherbow, the others are waiting. After we return, you, the two of you should rest a while. No doubt Runar will be eager to have you sample his cooking. Bra hell yeah! As soon as I discover anything of import, you will be the first to know. Thank you! Bra, I wonder if Runar's a good cook. For some reason, the thought of Runar, the giant Hrothgar, with, like, the, bi <laughs> the big-ass skillet like Julian, Hild uh, Hildy's mom uses, just throwing it down in the kitchen. For some reason, that is, like, the funniest thing. <laughs> Wait, why am I doing this? I could just teleport. You know, like a non-noob. God. Wasting time. This is it's essentially the same as wasting money. Except I can get the money back. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna stop now. Sup Luna, the guard told me you left with Master Matoya to Woven Oath. Yeah. And no sooner do you return than she locks herself away in her chambers without so much as a word. Sounds like you stole She knows how I work when she leaves without telling me. She is safe, and that is all that matters. Yeah. You must be hungry after such a journey. Why not have a seat there by the fire? The stew will soon be ready. Awesome. Um. Oh. I don't know why I didn't see that. Freaking me out, man. Alright, let's get some food! Time for some grubs and munchies, bruv. Yeah. Why noises? Strange. How so? The others on patrol should have returned by now. Our food will be overcooked if we wait any longer. A 
for fuck's sake. All right, I'll be right back. We will just have to start without them. Would you call Master Matoya and the others? I shouldn't I go look for those patrols? I feel like this is kind of a thing. I mean, yeah, I'll go look, but. Uh... I tire of these games, Orionje. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? Concern. The blessing may spare her the fate of becoming a Light Warden. But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. She is not as she was in the Source. Though I have no proof, I fear that the light which poured forth from the Wardens was not negated at all. I fear it was absorbed, that she has been suffused with their light. Though I have given thought to this possibility, I dare not speak until more is known. <sighs> By the time you deign to enlighten us, it may be too late, if it is not already. Orianger, I know full well, after all these years, that you have only the best of intentions. But that does not make it any easier to put my faith in a man so infatuated with secrecy. I have had my suspicions ever since the Exarch bade you speak that day. But now I must ask. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and all that followed. Everything you claim to have seen. Did you? Help! Someone help! Oh, for fuck's sake! The Umorans are come for us! We're under attack! I see. Very well. Meanwhile, and you'll more. <laughs> oh, what an interesting way to cut. Ugh, I already hate this. Ah, uh, I hate this even more. Hatred rising. Lord 43, how good it is to see you. How long has it been? Not since your inauguration, unless I mistake. Too long, at any rate. May I say how humbled I am to be invited not only into your city, but your home. You are as generous as ever. Ah, uh, I want to. <laughs> All right, the balance between politeness and sass is. Uh. Mm, chef's kiss. And you as disingenuous. Fuck you too, asshole. He's actually trying to be nice. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. This merry band of dissidents people are calling warriors of darkness. They have slain Sin Eaters. And by all accounts, the Crystarium is complicit in their villainy. Um. And now I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers. So I must ask, what exactly do you think you are doing? Sticking it to your fat ass, bitch. <laughs> I might ask you the same thing. It should be clear, even to you, that defeating the Light Wardens represents the world's only hope of survival. Even now, the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg rejoice in the return of night. For a hundred years, they yearned for a means to fight back against the Sin Eaters, and at last they have found one. Yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing. Why? Okay! 
Not only calling him out, but turning it around. My man! Why? Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream. An exercise in futility. Okay, the ruler of Yulmore is saying that literally anything else is a fever dream. That is the definition of irony. Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. That kind of attitude. With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. Are you fucking serious?! You fat bitch! Before long, they would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. Nay, a god. I see. I will see their dreams fulfilled. Their wishes granted. I will give them peace, order, and they shall never want for bliss. Get your ugly face off of my screen, please. Men are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear can go a long way towards helping them realize what it is they truly you are just made of hypocrisy. Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. That is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. I want you to get eaten by that lion so bad. A paradise fit to grace the eighth Umbral era. <laughs> what was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. Oh, my boy going down. Oh, he's throwing it down. My man. Can I just say, by the way, the Exarch stance is like the definition of I am better than you and I'm about to fucking prove it. <laughs> Alright, I was real suspicious of this dude at first, but he is by far one of the coolest people in this series. But man is more resilient than you think. Damn right. His achievements are not the product of violence and bloodshed but compassion and understanding. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome. And we will, once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now, and the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making, or even a hundred? You underestimate them, Lord Forthree. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know, that their children may never know. I have beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before, which we bequeath to those who come after, that they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears. These are the bonds which hold man and his world together, not your gilded chains. And I will resist your every effort to shackle him. In summary, you will huh. continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? Your Sin Eaters. I still want to know why you have a face on your nipple. Explain, please. With tremendous enthusiasm. For I have faith in the future they would build. Oh, why do I even bother? Good question. Come out and fight me, man to man. See what happens. 
fools, the lot of you. So naive, so painfully predictable. <laughs> you are not one to talk, my guy. Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until after this meeting to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eater's defense. I'd be surprised this if it was otherwise. This will not be tolerated. The people of this world are mine to rule, mine to command. And you are no exception. <laughs> what? How did he? <laughs> Exarch, my bruh. <laughs> oh, Ranjit's here. How fortuitous. Can we fight? Oh man, it's stolen. Got that walk. <laughs> Poor choice. You speak for the knights, blessed. I do. I presume that is your doing. If you'll come to Pale, I must insist that you first return him to us. You're in no position to make demands. Bold of you to assume you're outside of gunblade range. By Lord Vorthry's decree, Raktika now falls under the governance of Yulmore. You will henceforth answer to us. Alright, time to overthrow a fucking government! Let me get my usurping pants on. Is that so? <laughs> and the children of the Everlasting Dark have acquiesced to this madness. We have reached an accord, yes. Interesting Too choice many of words. times have the Knights Blessed shunned Yulmore's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions has grown too great to ignore. Therefore, his lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the children of the Everlasting Dark. Okay, so all of you want to die right now is what I'm hearing. In his wisdom, Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. Oh, you appealed to religious zealotry. Of course. That's a very Vorthry thing to do. You Can I kill him now? false creed are a blight on these woods. A foul, unholy corruption that must be cleansed. It's like you're trying to be the Spanish Inquisition, but you're nowhere near as well equipped. Little wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow at bay. Can I come out and just headbutt this dude just for- PURELY to see the look on his face! I just want to see him shit himself when he realizes that we are crouching right there. Accepted the yoke of Yulmor to spite us then. Fools. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, that you may have time to prepare. Bullshit. Woven oath? Are you suggesting we abandon our fate to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. Okay, you're reminding me very, very accurately of certain Holy See members, and I want to punch you just as bad. And should we refuse? 
Don't do it. Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to you, more, and dealt with as such. Can I come out now? Stole him not having this bullshit. Nice to see bitch boy lieutenants back. Can I kill him now? We will discuss these developments after I have tended to our casualty. By all means. Okay, so a lot happened there. Holy crap, a lot happened there. Um. Okay, there's a number of things to go over. First of all, Exarch squaring up and calling people out like a boss. Love that guy. Second of all, the conversation between Ishtola and Ariange. I figured that it was going to be something like that. Like, maybe the light isn't just disappearing into the, uh, the bottomless light well that is my aether pool. But hey, I'm still going to go off and slay as many light wardens as humanly, humanly possible because uh, screw those guys, they're kind of assholes. I don't like them. And also definitely screw you more, Yule more. Uh, yeah, can't wait to go and raid you more, by the way. Oh, that's gonna be fun! Anyway, uh, we continue. Yeah, boy. Alright, let's go. The guard have been inf afflicted with the most terrible and efficacious, efficacious poison. That's a word, apparently. <laughs> You've attempted all manner of healing incantations. Alas, this condition remains unchanged. Fuck. At present, we can but slow the poison's advance. I pray it will afford us sufficient time to find a cure. Damn! Let's keep it going. Yeah! More Gunblade! <laughs> Give me the good stuff, bro. Tell me who I can kill. Give me a target. How fareth the young guard? Poison thread spread throughout his system long before he was brought here. At present, we can do not but try to ease his pain. Fucking assholes. Can I kill him now? Do not blame yourselves, my friends. All that can be done has been done. Even had we reached him sooner, it would, it would have made a little difference. The children employ countless poisons. Finding a suitable antidote is a nigh impossible task. Uh, what are the rest of the blessed? How have they taken to the news of Yulmore's generous proposal? With anger and dismay, we cannot hope to oppose both them and the children. I consider it a convocation of all the knights blessed. Uh, I don't know that we might consider their ultimatum, but I know how they will answer. Master Matoya, I'm truly sorry. We will not, cannot abandon our faith. But there is no reason for you to suffer for our decision. Your work is not yet done, and you still have time to flee. Alright, first of all, I'm not religious, but I respect the conviction. Always gotta respect that conviction. Second of all, you really think we're running now, bruv? No, 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 no. This is just another reason to kill people. Specifically these idiots. Because I love killing you, Morans. Flee. I'm not want to run away from my troubles. In fact, with Luna's arrival, I am minded to take the offensive! Ishtola! My favorite person! Hell yes! Let's go! Let's put on some shock and fucking awe. Yulmorin's advance 
er, the Umoran's presence here plainly stems from a desire to protect the Light Warden. I say we seek it out and slay the creature before they return. Fuck yeah! Were darkness to fall over Rakhtika, they would have no cause to remain. All of which is rather easier said than done, unless of course you finally decipher the tablet. I have, as a matter of fact, and with it, we can prepare everything we need to enter Ixmaya. I wouldn't say you all. We will need to act quickly, but I believe it can be done. You don't even have to ask, man! Alright, let me put aside my usurping pants. Let me put on my godslaying pants. Let's roll. We cannot deny our fate, but one course lieth before us. <laughs> well, we are villains, are we not? <laughs> Oh, for anyone who is not familiar with the series Firefly, I apologize, but <sighs> let's be bad guys. <laughs> uh, the band's back together. Good. I leave the blessed in your capable hands, Renard. <laughs> Don't cry, man! Come on! See, there's no changing your mind. By all that is dark, I swear to keep the blessed safe. Going to the tablet, we first will need to obtain a seal used to identify the allies of Ronka in times past. One such seal should be waiting for us in a complex of underwater ruins not far from here. You have some experience with subaquatic excursions, do you not? Yeah! Really putting that cogent blessing to use. Love that stuff. It's like the best thing that we've ever gotten. Then this should prove a simple task for you. The ruins we seek are at the bottom of Lake Tusi Mekta. Well, you see to that, Midfilia and I will remain here to help shore up Slitherbow's defenses. Hell yes. It will be greatly appreciated. Alright. Squad, deploy. We're going to work. Time to do, uh, diver things, I suppose? Question mark? Howdy. There you are. Ready for a swim? Always. The seal we seek should be stored in a chamber somewhere inside the ruins beneath the lake. However, the entrance is seemingly protected by a subtle locking mechanism rooted in the symbolism of Runken culture. The Runkins sought to live in harmony with nature and considered certain animals to be sacred. Foremost of their pantheon was the snake, portrayed as a protector of the wood, an arbiter of life and death. That's reminding me of Quetzalcoatl in uh, Aztec culture, I think. Could be wrong there. <clears throat> Below it were four others, each equal in rank. The Krull, the Colibri, the Opo-Opo, and the Wolf. Characterized as the bringers of liberty, words, enlightenment, and harmony respectively. To open the chamber containing the seal, the tablet states that one must pay due deference to three of these beasts by placing one's palm on monuments wrought in their image, and that this must be done in a specific sequence. If my interpretation is correct, the order can be discerned from the three commandments which follow. Get brazen to the snake, by its strength do our lands prosper. Be as the Opa Opo, rival thy kin. As all parts seek betterment, so too does the whole. Be as the wolf, move as one. There we go. Peace comes to those who seek harmony with their kin. Fair enough. Uh, the tablet says, not of the placement, size, or appearance of the monuments, alas. Hopefully, it all will become clear when you reach the bottom of the lake. Go safely. Go safely! Bruv! Why would I go safely? Safety is boring. Oh, okay. Here, let me get my uh, subaquatic motorcycle. Ah, here we go. Ooh! Oh, this is actually very Aztec inspired. Now that I look at it, or at least the uh, the serpent thing is. This is a bit freaky. That's definitely like an Aztec sun wheel or something close to it. Statue of a snake. 
Snake first, then up, 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 then wolf. Since something stirs somewhere in the lake. <coughs> the water is moving. It's either a sea monster or the thing. Not the curl. We don't need the curl. Do we need the curl? Wait a minute. Oh, no! I am fairly certain Opa Opa was next. Bang. If I get locked in here, I'm going to be upset. This is something stir elsewhere on the lake. And now we need the wolf. Oh, that is not concerning in the slightest. Sarcasm. <gasps> Wolf statue! Found it! I did the thing, lads! Push the button! Once more, you sent something stir elsewhere in the lake. Perhaps the chamber containing the seal is open. Yeah! We ride. Uh. Yeah! Nailed it. A door opens to reveal a pedestal upon which rests a medallion. You take it and secure it inside your clothing. Why did it specify secure it inside your clothing? Also, what if I was wearing my dancer outfit? There's not really a lot of clothing to secure that with. Well, okay, it's, there's, there's ways. Never mind. I'm just going to stop talking now. Ah. That was a nice little swim now, wasn't it? Alright, Estola, we got the goods. Let's go to work. Did you find it? Of course! Seal of Ronka. A small medallion bearing the image of an owl. The insignia of Ronka. Hmm. Funny how the owl was not mentioned in the five thingies that you mentioned. This medallion bears the owl insignia of the Empire. There can be no doubt this is the Seal of Ronka. Well done, Luna. We can d begin our preparations to enter Ixmaya in earnest. Yeah, yeah! Ah! Uh, we can go a little further. Shola would waste no time in heading to Ixmaya. Hell yeah! Let's go to work! Bearing the seal, it should be possible to enter Ixmaya unmolested by its guardians. I will go ahead to Slitherbow and inform the others. When you have recovered from your exertions, meet us in the cavern leading east out of the village. Fantastico! Stay with me, lads. Walking is for peasants, and I have slain gods. Now let's go slay another god, eh? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and otherwise, that's going to be it for this episode. I know this is kind of abruptly cut off, but again, I'm trying to space this out a little bit. I know that a dungeon is probably coming up soon, so next episode is either going to be normal or uh, a bit on the longer side, depending on how much there is until I hit it. I really got to work up a new way of figuring these out. Anyway, you guys know the drill from here. If you enjoyed this episode, then drop me a like and a comment down below. By all means, I do love reading them and seeing all of those lovely likes and giving me all the warm fuzzies. If you'd like to see more, drop kick that subscribe button and house the bell next to it so YouTube's empire remembers to tell the almighty algorithm chan that I exist whenever I upload. If you would like to join me and Yon Chaos crew and maybe perchance a, uh, an opportunity to join in one of these videos, specifically the raids that we do, then hop on my Discord and ask for the Chaos Crew tag to be alerted whenever I need help with something. Or, you know, just to do some raids here and there, hang out with lads. It's, a, it's an MMO. We do MMO things. You know how it is. And that will be about it for today. Y'all have a wonderful day! And I will see y'all next round.